Welcome back. The Emancipation Park Conservancy is dedicated to maintaining a safe space for the community to come together. And this year's Juneteenth celebration is one event you don't want to miss. Here with more is Executive Director at Emancipation Park, Lucy Bremont. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, we've got to get through everything because there's so much happening this weekend, of course, on Saturday. And let's talk about the history of Juneteenth for those that need a refresher course. So Juneteenth was the day that we celebrate freedom because when Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, two years later, people in Texas heard about it. So we celebrate Juneteenth as an opportunity to say about freedom, but also the conservancy is working on making sure we keep the historical perspective about what Juneteenth is all about. And that's so important because a lot of Houstonians probably pass by Emancipation mm -hmm. Park. They see this beautiful new modern park and they might not realize it's actually one of the oldest parks in the history of the city originally purchased by a group of slaves. Purchased by a group of people right out of slavery and they congregated at the park so they can celebrate their freedom. And and so Jack Yates was one of them. We have Richard Allen, Richard Brock, and those are all what we consider the founders of the park. And so we want to keep that historical perspective. Everything we do at the park, it was newly enhanced about two years ago, $33 million worth of enhancements. We had a rededication and this year we're doing the same thing that we did two years ago, but we want people to know about the park. We want to know, know about the history. And so we have reenactments. We, we're, we want to keep the historical perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's so great that, uh, you know, the restoration happened um, and what is how beautiful that is. And it's set to be basically a premier landmark, right? It, absolutely. It's the first park in the city of Houston, the first park, it, from what I can understand, in the state of Texas. And so we want to keep that his, historical perspective. We pride ourselves the same way of the community so we're collaborating with a lot of other organizations in Houston to bring the Black Love Fest Project Row Houses is doing that we have some community groups will be there reenactments uh, you mentioned the free barbecue and yes. so that's part of the history the barbecue and the watermelon celebration we will have that going on also so much history there in third ward I absolutely love living in that neighborhood let's talk a little bit about what people can expect at the celebration because the actual date is Wednesday June 19th that's yes, the yes. Juneteenth date but the celebration is happening this weekend at Emancipation Park. This weekend, Park. Uh, June 15th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll uh, start off with, again, a lot of community groups there. We have a lot of activations. We have two stages. We will have uh, J. Paul Zodico Music. We'll have B.B. King All-Star Band will be there and a lot of local talent because that's what happened in Emancipation Avenue El Dorado Club way back when a lot of people would come and entertain there. We want to keep that going and so that's what's going to be happening that day. You're also going to do guided tours and is that through the neighborhood? Guided tours through the park. The okay. park has a rich history and a lot of people don't understand um, you know how the park was developed so we want to tell that story so when you come we will have reenactments but we'll also tell the story about the renaming of the park we'll tell the story about you know founders of the park and where we are now and why we want to keep that history because I would think this year is celebrating our legacy but we also want to rebuild the opportunity to teach the young people what the park is all about absolutely and by the way tomorrow night Thursday the 13th you have the youth talent show Yeah, we have a youth talent show and it's, it's, it's kind of still historical perspective because that's where people would congregate to have talent from the African Americans back in the day we're gonna have a talent show on tomorrow we'll have the Juneteenth pageant on Friday night we'll introduce Miss Juneteenth on Saturday and a Juneteenth parade and that's part of the history. So it's a beauty pageant. Uh -huh. that, well, come and see. I did not realize that was happening. That's so cool. I know. And then also uh, Wednesday, June 19th, Juneteenth, yes. you also had the youth activities going on from 10 to 2. Yeah, so the actual day is Juneteenth. Even though we're celebrating Saturday on right. the 15th, we want to take the opportunity on that day, just like we did last year, to teach the youth in that, do an educational opportunity, teach them all about Juneteenth. We'll have reenactments. We're going to have have Miss Jackie Bostic who is the great granddaughter of Jack Yates. Now she did not know him but through a lot of oral history she can tell the story about how Juneteenth the guy started. She can tell the story about Emancipation Park so the kids will hear firsthand from her Miss Jackie Bostic, Jack Yates' grand great granddaughter and then we'll have a party. Lucy Bremont, thank you so much for stopping by. We gotta leave it there, but in the meantime, you can find a recap of the Juneteenth events happening at Emancipation Park by visiting the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely.